How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing what could potentially be the best product ever made. The Pokemon China One Year Anniversary Gift Box. It is actually a huge box, I have to set my, my phone to almost ultra wide, um, just to fit it in. Let me just turn it around so we can see what's in here. So, let me just hold this up. This is actually really heavy too, there's like about 5 kilos I think one of these is. So you get like 10 booster packs which have, um, I think, 25 cards each, so jumble packs. The most important part are these two promo cards. The Friends in Gala and Friends in Sinnoh. Really, really, oh, not Friends in Sinnoh, the Friends in Alola and Friends in Gala. There we go. That's, that's the correct, correct name for these two cards. Really excited for this one, so let's rip this open. I'm literally, I have to do this standing up. That's how big this box is, otherwise I wouldn't be able to fit it all in frame. So, while doing it live, um, I don't actually know what to cut. Let's just cut down here, I suppose. Cut one open right here, and then, and then it should be fairly easy to rip this open. This this seal. Actually, I might. Sh I should have done it probably the other way around. Um, let me turn this on its side and turn it like this, just so the contents don't fall out. There we go. The seal has been broken. Well, actually, no. There is a there is a second seal to this to this whole box, which is right right up here. Um, this looks like it has been tampered with, honestly. So I'm not too sure what to think about that. Um, I guess we'll just rip it open, or we'll just lift it open. I don't think there's any other tape here. Um, well, let's see if the contents are still inside, or if if I have been duped. Nope, the carts should still be inside, and this is actually my first time. Oh, there we go. Alright, here we go. Here are the two carts. So let me see. Wait, they actually come in sleeves? Okay. Um, so these are Chinese Pokemon cards. Once again, this is the first time I'm, I'm ever seeing Chinese Pokemon cards in person. I do know that they are printed in the same... Um, factory as Japanese cards, so the quality should still be very, very good. And here we are, the Friends in Alola. This is probably your only chance of getting this card, because the Japanese version of this is like 5,000 euros or something ridiculous. Um, Chinese cards are actually pretty neat because they do have a stamp right down here. If you can see that, they have a Pokemon stamp right down here, so that you can make sure they are they are real. This is an amazing card. I need to grab a sleeve, like a a penny sleeve, I guess. All right, let's sleeve this one up. There we go. And we also have this in addition. This is pretty nice. I have like three copies of this graded already in in Japanese. I do have an English one graded as well. Um, I'll probably send this to CGC together with a few other cards. I say a few other cards. I literally only have two prepared. Oh god, these. These sleeves are something, they, they like stick to the card, that is really, really bad. I hope I can push this out without damaging it, there we go. Um, it is kind of odd that they, that they put the cards in sleeves, I guess, I guess it's better than not having them protected at all. And, well, this is the exact same one as we have in Japanese and English, it's just a different language, still pretty cool though. Um, texturing is the same as in as in Japanese, so very very cool looking. And this will go onto the grading pile. Those two cards. There we go. And let's see what's under here. I think there are, there's going to be booster packs under here. Yep, there we go. There we go. All over the place. So let me just get these out. Okay, so we're slowly but surely working working our way down the the box. Um, this is the stand. That you can put your cards in. I probably wouldn't put those two cards in. Um, this is really cool, made out of wood. It's all engraved, this right here. Really, really cool looking. And you have also the printing right here. Pokemon Company. Very cool. And this is where you put this in. Right here. Yeah, there we go. And then I guess the other way around. So you can you can present your cards. I probably won't put those two in, but this is a diff this is definitely a really cool presenting piece. Maybe for some other cards, but there you go, something to present your cards with. You also get this. I don't know what this is. This little bag 
We can transport stuff in. This is definitely very cool. I like it. I just don't know what to do with it. And it appears that some of the dice are completely missing. They've probably... Oh, they're right down here. I can't, I can't actually see them. These, the damage counters. Let me just grab all of these. There we go. And then here is the last one, the one that, that didn't go all over the place. These are actually made of metal. It feels like. These are made of metal. And then what do we have here? Another dice. If I can get this out. Okay, this is just a normal dice, but look at the look at the dice faces. Where's the camera? There we go. We have a two. We have the, the Grookey, I think. No, that's not the Grookey. I'm um, um, this that's the score bunny. I'm um, I'm misremembering the names. Don't know what this is supposed to be. Oh no, this is the um the Rowlet. Pretty sure. This is the Sobble. There's the Sobble. We have the freaking the freaking fire cat. So on and so forth. And these should just be markers for um for burn and poison. There we go. These are made of plastic. And so is this dice right here. But the damage counters are made of metal. And then this is a wooden deck box. Let me put the where do I put these? Let's just put them to the side right here. And get this one out. Okay, and here we are. I didn't actually manage to show off these booster packs, but these have 25 cards each. Lots of different sets. I'm guessing these are all the, the sets that have been released in, in China. So this is really, really cool. We get to open a lot of packs. Maybe we pull something as well. The main reason why you're buying that set, though, is, of course... Well, for me, mainly, it's just this card, this single card right here, the Friends in Alola. This is the only chance for you to ever get this card for a reasonable price. And then this is just a bonus. Probably gonna send these two off to, to CGC. Just don't know when I'll do that, but I'll send them off because I only have two cards prepared. I have the Yono and actually the, the Zorro that I've pulled from a, from a random opening. Um, we'll see when I do it. I might not wait for 25 cards. I might just send those out whenever. But we'll see. Um, we still have this to open, this wooden deck box. Also right here, a nice engraving or whatever you want to call it. Lift this off. And, well, that's it. You can't do anything else. This is really, really heavy. Bro. Okay, this is so well made. Out of wood and everything, I guess. This is where you put your dice and your, your markers. So the markers go here, the dice goes here. And then this is where you put your, your damage counters. And then that's, uh, that is where you put your deck in, like so. Maybe? I don't know. Hopefully I'm doing that right. This is, that is done for, yeah. You have to put them in like this. And then let me just try this. If it even closes down. Mm, doesn't seem to be closing down. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe, maybe you can take this out. But this just doesn't seem like it comes apart, honestly. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Still, this is very, very cool. A nice wooden box. This is so well made. Look at this. Man, I'm so... I'm so surprised about this. I didn't think I'd actually like it that much. Because it just seems random to me. A wooden deck box or whatever. But this is so well made. I actually really, really like it. Nice. Okay. Let's put that over here. Because we do have the booster packs to, to contend with. Let's open... Let's just open them the way I... Actually, hang on, let me see. Okay, so I think I've sorted them by release. I just basically went off of this right here. Um, I, I think I sorted them by release. If not, then I do apologize. But let's rip these open. Um, once again, first time I rip open Chinese booster packs as well. Um, these are kind of special booster packs. Because they have 25 cards each. I don't actually know what we can pull out of these. If there's anything promised or anything. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we get something in this one as well. Who knows? Who knows? We're just gonna be looking at at these cool cards and hopefully we can get like at least one full art or something out of all of these. That would be nice. At least like one. Let's see. We've got bead. We've got some forest. We've got a bear tick or beware. We've got a Marnie. Marnie holographic. Very good. We've got a Luxray, we've got a Pikachu, not bad, and we've got a shiny baby Pokemon, and a Reverse, okay. So are these all gonna be like that, like with a Holo, a Full Art, and like, hmm, this is actually pretty cool. 
And you can see right down here... Oh, actually, no. All the cards seem to have it. No, not the commons. All the cards that are considered pulled seem to have this stamp down here as well. Same as the Friends in Gala and Friends in Sinnoh. This is really cool. Okay. Let's put these over here. Let's get the deck box out of here. Let's put the pulls up here, I suppose. And then we'll, we'll keep on going. Okay, let's open this one next. I unfortunately have no clue what the, the Chinese sets are called, by the way. So I do apologize for that as well. I have no clue what, what these are called. Then again, I have, I have not opened Chinese packs before. Although I, I had planned to, maybe I'll do that in the future. Because I do believe some of them... I think there's one set. I don't know which exactly it is. Um, but I think if I recall correctly, you can pull the... Um, the the really, really expensive Lily card. Well, the the um, really expensive Lily card that is in, in Japanese. Um, I don't know what it's called. Like, Goodbye Alola Lily? I, I don't actually know the name. It's like basically Lily um, in the evening or something. Maybe I'll just put a picture up here somewhere so you know what exactly I'm talking about. Um, you can pull that one from a set, I do believe, in, in China. So that would be something. We've got a Dark Cry. Very cool. We've got a um, Professor, Professor's Research, I think. We've got a Center Scorch VMAX. And we've got the Pre-Evolution of Center Scorch. Okay, a VMAX. So these all seem to be like special packs. Man, this is super cool then. If these are all special packs, you're, that means you're guaranteed a pull. This is even better than high-class Japanese sets. Because you get so many cards and you got some awesome promos. Man, oh man. This is gonna be amazing. Dude, if we pull a full art trainer out of one of these, I'll freak out. Doesn't necessarily have to be a good one, just like any full art trainer. That would be amazing. To add some Chinese cards to the collection. I guess, since we do have a lot of time with these packs, I can talk about Chinese Pokemon cards in general and what I think about them. I actually think they're pretty cool. And now, well, this is the one year anniversary, so they have been released in on mainland China at least for a year. I think they might have been available previously um, in, in Taiwan or Hong Kong. I don't know, um, but I, I think they might have been available previously. But this is now the main release, so or the one year anniversary for the main release of Pokemon in China. So this is really nice. And we have got a GX card. We've got a Panferno, I want to say. We've got, oh, this is like a Kodo O. I'm probably mispronouncing all these. We've got a Moltres, very cool. The reverse rares are looking very crisp. I like them. And a Magnemite. Look at that. So I actually think Chinese Pokemon cards are actually pretty neat. Because essentially, you're getting the best of both worlds, if you will. Well, if you do care about the, the English back, that is get the best of both worlds, but no. I think the main reason why these cards are actually pretty cool is they are printed in Japan. They they use the same printing techniques as, as Japanese cards, so that means the quality and texturing is gonna be exactly the same as compared to, to Korea. I know Korean cards, they are printed in Korea itself, and I do know that their texture is slightly different from, from the Japanese textures, and this means the, the Chinese cards are super, super good. And we have, of course, the English back, which I do have to say I do prefer on, on Pokemon cards. Um, this kind of reminds me of, like, Asian English um, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, as a matter of fact. Because I, I think they had, the, they had the Japanese back, but, like, um, English front or something like that. Or maybe I'm mispronouncing it or mixing them up. Here we have a Decidueye. GX, very cool. We've got a, um, oh, a Tridon? No, a Hydreigon. There we go, Tridon. Hydreigon, we've got a Dragonair. And we've got a Bayleaf. Super, super nice. And I do think, in my humble opinion, I think Chinese Pokemon cards are going to be very popular in a few years. Now that we have cards like these, like the Friends in Gala, Friends in Sinnoh, and the special sets, dude. The special sets that Shiner is getting for these is insane. I mean, just look at this one. You get a card that in Japanese... This is, by the way, I haven't actually mentioned that this card is Japanese exclusive. And, as I've mentioned, it is 5,000 euros currently in Japanese. 
And they just getting them in a random box. Dude, imagine if this card was ever released in English. I'd go crazy over that card. Man, oh man. So this is really, really cool that they get boxes like this. And this is not even like, this is definitely the coolest box, but this is not the only one. They have like the Marnie's Determination gift box where you get the Marnie that you can pull from Shiny Star V in Japanese. They get that in the special box. They also had one with the Arceus, Palkia and Dialga GX alternate art. Um, they had one with the Lily you can pull from Ultra Prism, so on and so forth. So many good, good packs. Here we have a um, Sil Valley, I want to say. GX, we've got a Gardevoir. Yo, that looks really cool. That is a really cool illustration. Man, I'm gonna put that aside. That looks really, really sick. Oh, we've got a Whoopee Boy. We've got a shiny Whoopee Baby. <laughs> nice. And a Swablu at the end here. <laughs> we've got a shiny Whoopee Boy. Okay, I do have to sort them out somewhat. So let me put the, the Whoopee Boy right here. And let me put the GX cards right here. Man, and opening GX cards up, dude. I have only ever opened a handful of packs that contain GX cards. Because I didn't actually collect at the time when, when the GX cards were around. So opening up some of them, and when I opened um, Altered Genesis, that was incredible to pull all of these GX cards. Because I do have to say, I for some reason I do like GX cards more than Vs. Uh, it was so cool. So much nostalgia, even though it wasn't as nostalgic for me. For me, nostalgia is like the original EX series, like Ruby Sapphire. So on EX Deoxys. Man, I had so many cool cards back in the day. I wish I kept them all, as as probably do many other people. Star Raptor, that is really cool. Akirai Gamo, of course. The card that I immediately say looks cool is illustrated by my favorite artist. <laughs> what else is new? What else is new? We've got another Decidueye. We've got a, oh dear god, this is a Zengard, Zen, no, I, <laughs> I've forgotten the name of this one. I should know the name of this one. We've got another V, oh, then we've got a V Pokemon this time around, and we've got a Beldum, and a energy card, special energy card, which name I don't know. I am very ill prepared, let's put this right here. And we still have four packs left, so four more pulls for a potential full art for a potential full art so let's see let's see 25 card packs um which other set had 25 cards i think pokemon never had a set that had like 25 cards in a booster pack i do remember Yu-Gi-Oh had some back in the day where you get like 25 cards in a pack which is kind of absurd if you will but, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. We've got a Wigglytuff. Very cute looking. We've got a Team Yell Banner. We've got a Thievil. We've got a Kangaskhan. Very cool. Illustrated by Kavayo. We've got a um, Zero Aura. Yo, we've got a Darmanitan. VMAX. Okay. Oh, and we've got the, the Pierce. The Pierce Full Art. Okay. It is a Full Art. And as I said, if we pull a full art trainer, that is going to be really amazing. And look at the texturing of this. You see the lightnings behind him? The card doesn't look nearly as good in English as it does in, in Chinese and Japanese for that matter. Yo, this is really, really cool. That is really cool. Nice. Okay. We've got a full art trainer. Now that is something. That is something. Still got three packs left. Um, oh, we're entering Tag Team GX. We're, we're entering the Tag Team GX era. So maybe we can pull a Tag Team GX card full art. Um, I don't actually know what any of these sets contain. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what we can pull. Dude. If this is anything to go on, I should be opening even more um, Chinese sets. Because this is actually really, really fun. We've got a Magnemite. Let's see, we've got a Sphere. Or a Sphiel. The Young Goose. We've got a Lapras with Misty in the back. We've got an Empoleon. Very cool looking. I like Empoleon. We've got the Varus. We've got Lieutenant Search. We've got, oh, what's her name? Green, I think. 
We've got a Magnazone. We've got a Gyarados. We've got a Yo! Okay, we did get a Tag Team card. That might have been promised. This is just a Reverse Rare. Or a Double Rare. Zekrom and Pikachu GX. Okay, and we've got the Reverse of, of Green as well. Let's put this over here. Oh, man, I love the Tag Team cards. I just wish they were affordable, man. Not just in English, but in Japanese too. The Tag Team cards are so cool. I really do hope they bring them back at some point, like Tag Team EX cards. They were super, super cool. Let's see, Venonet. Got a freaking moldy mushroom. Got a Rowlet. Hit him on top there, Driftloon. Let's see what else we have in here. Well, we can pull another full art, one more full art, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what we can get in this one. This is super, super cool. Yeah. Oh, we've got um, we've got blue over here. We've got tag team red and blue. Not bad. We've got a Kangaskhan. We've got a um, a Persian Persian GX. Oh, this is illustrated by Kiyosaki. Okay. And two of our reverse Mimikyu. That's very cool. One last pack. One last pack to open from this really, really big box. Let's see what we can find in this one. Maybe we can find something insane. Maybe like an alternate art. Dude, imagine if we pull an alternate art. Actually, I don't know if if the Pokemon TCG China has reached Sword and Shield. Well, no, I, they have reached Sword and Shield. What am I saying? I just, I haven't seen a Chinese alternate art from the Sword and Shield era yet. Or maybe I'm just not paying enough attention. To the, to the Chinese card market. Maybe I should be paying attention to it. Because so far, these cards are awesome. And if they are more affordable than Japanese, I think... I think some people might actually switch and collect these instead. Instead of compared to, to Japanese. Really, really nice. Okay. We, we should be reaching the, the polls soon. Here we go. This is our first one. Our second one. With the slacking. Let's see. Oh, the Sylveon and Gardevoir GX tag team. Very nice. And oh my god, we've got Flannery and Twerkle. Or Torkoal. I always say Twerkle. There we go. Finishing it off with a with a banger. This is almost as good as a full art trainer. These are I where were these from? Dream League, I wanna say. Pretty sure these were featured in Dream League originally. So now we have them here, and we have the the Sylveon and God of War GX. Just a normal reverse, but or just a normal double rare. But as I said, I love, love these tag team cards. Amazing. Dude, if this is anything to go on, then I should be grabbing more of these. Not just not maybe this box, but grabbing Chinese packs in total. I really want to open a Chinese booster box now. Oh, well, here you can actually see the pull rates, I think, or like the amount of cards that are in in a Chinese set, like six ultra rares, 35 super rares, two character rares. Yeah, there we go. So we did pull the character rare. One of the three character rares in this set. Very nice. So this is what we ended up with. Of course, we can't we can't forget these two cards. These are the two most most important cards of of this whole box, of course. So this is where you would put them in, but I'm not going to do that. Maybe use that for, for two other cards or something. We'll see. Well, but anyways, I guess that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix it for future videos. Other than that, here's a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Here's the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this one. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace. Take care.